Uh, Bob Truax really represents the father of the Navy space program. Nobody thought about the history aspect. We were just having fun. Not bad for 72. You know, I always admired uh, Truex when I found out that he was a midshipman at one time, that he was very much in rocket technology, because at that time, there was only a few sort of weirdos like myself, you know, that, that were, you know, thinking about uh, rockets and what they could do. By the end of the war, Truex developed a remarkable reputation as perhaps the most knowledgeable rocket engineer in the United States, even though he never sought the spotlight as the engine started and stopped, started and stopped, uh, and Goddard was just there in, in, with his mouth agog and uh, in disbelief. Goddard was, he was not an engineer. He was a professor of physics, and his approach to solving engineering problems was kind of, I thought, Air kind Force of backwards. Space Command has selected Captain Robert C. Truax as a recipient of the 2003 Air Force Space and Missile Pioneers Award. Those, those CG numbers that you gave the Pete with the model, you know, for the wind tunnel test? Did what that... Bob did uh, early on was uh, he understood the technology and he tested to make sure that uh, uh, things would work uh, when they needed to. Captain Robert Truex has truly been the pioneering rocket engineer of the United States Navy and later in the private sector with companies such as Aerojet along with his own firm, Truax Engineering. He has developed a large number of revolutionary rocket systems and is well known as being one of the first proponents of low-cost rocket engine and vehicle designs. He has done a lot of amazing things and the things that he's invented and the things that are in his head to be invented. Uh, we're going to drop from a thousand feet. Bob w was and remains well ahead of his time right now. And if you look in some number of years from now, people will get closer to a lot of his concepts.